Whether you're in the comfort of your home or in the great outdoors, it's ultimately inevitable that you're far away from a spider. They could be under your bed, on ceilings, inside your wardrobe, and even at your doorpost. Sometimes you might walk face first into an unnoticed spider web, which can be very annoying. And it's not just about the most dangerous in the world, it's about which one could be lurking in your home right now. From a bite that could inflict no less than a painful blister to one that could require a solemn trip to the hospital, here are 20 most dangerous spiders in the world. Number 20. Sydney Funnelweb Spider This is a venomous spider species native to eastern Australia and is usually found within a 100 kilometers radius of Sydney, which is pretty much where it got its name from. The Sydney Funnelweb Spider is medium to large in size, with a body length ranging from 1 to 5 centimeters. Both sexes are glossy and dark colored, ranging from blue-black to black to brown or dark plum colored. The hard upper shell covering the cephalothorax is almost hairless and appears smooth and glossy. Another characteristic is finger-like spinnerets at the end of their abdomen. The shorter-lived male is smaller than the female, but longer-legged, while the average leg length for the spider in general is 6 to 7 meters. Funnel web bites are dangerous, and first aid should be given immediately using the pressure bandage or immobilization technique. As for snake bites, the victim should be taken to the hospital and given antivenom if necessary. The venom has a neurotoxin component that attacks the human nervous system and can result in death in the worst cases. However, there have been no fatalities since the introduction of antivenom. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. This takes us to today's strange topic. At first glance, this looks like some mutant creature from a fantasy movie, but what if I tell you this spider was caught on camera by a certain fisherman? A fisherman named John Berkeley had gone to do his usual daily job at a local river just outside of his hometown in Australia when he spotted this 12-foot tall spider. The supposed spider was caught on camera by John, who claimed he had never seen anything like it. He was mainly worried such a spider could be highly venomous and would definitely attack someone who tried to get close. So John gathered a few of the local fishermen to tell them about his findings, but unfortunately, when he returned, the spider was gone. This spider species remains unknown and might be a recreation of the unusual Mother Nature mutants we encounter once every blue moon. In the comment section, let us know what you think about this with the hashtag strange topic. Number 19. Brazilian Wandering Spiders the Brazilian wandering spiders, aka Phonutria, are mainly found in northern South America, with one species in Central America being large, with bodies reaching up to 2 inches, which is equivalent to 5 centimeters, and a leg span of up to 7 inches, equivalent to 18 centimeters. According to the Natural History Museum in Karlsruhe, Germany, the species vary in color, though all are hairy and mostly brown and gray. However, some species have lightly colored spots on their abdomen. After a human is bitten by one of these spiders, they may experience initial symptoms such as severe burning pain at the site of the bite, sweating, and goosebumps. While you might think you're transforming into Spider-Man, you'd be disappointed within 30 minutes, as the symptoms become systemic and include high or low blood pressure, fast or a slow heart rate, nausea, abdominal cramping, hypothermia, vertigo, blurred vision, convulsions, and excessive sweating associated with shock. And so, immediate medical attention is highly required. In addition to intense pain and possible medical complications, the bite of a Brazilian wandering spider can deliver a prolonged, painful erection to human males, as reported by Live Science. The venom boosts nitric oxide, a chemical that increases blood flow, and has been considered at incorporating the venom into drugs for erectile dysfunction. However, these bites are rare, but these spiders are technically considered the most dangerous spiders in the world by the Guinness Book of Records. Number 18. Black Widow Spiders 
Everyone is familiar with the notorious Black Widow spiders identified by the colored, hourglass-shaped mark on their abdomens. Several species answer to the name, and they are found in temperate regions worldwide. This spider's bite is much feared because its venom is reported to be 15 times stronger than a rattlesnake's. In humans, bites produce muscle aches, nausea, and paralysis of the diaphragm that can make breathing difficult. But bites can be fatal. See that hourglass? Usually to small children, the elderly or the infirm. Fortunately, fatalities are relatively rare. The spiders are not aggressive and bite only in self-defense, such as when someone accidentally sits on them. Number 17. Brown Recluse Spider the brown recluse spider is well known for its venomous bite. It is the most common and widespread of the brown spiders, but it is naturally found only in the south and central United States. Brown recluse spiders are usually between 0.24 and 0.79 inches, but may grow larger. While typically light to medium brown, they range in color from whitish to dark brown or blackish gray. The cephalothorax and abdomen are not necessarily the same color, and these spiders usually have markings on the dorsal side of their cephalothorax, with a black line coming from it that looks like a violin with the neck of the violin pointing to the rear of the spider, resulting in the nicknames Fiddleback Spider, Brown Fiddler, or Violin Spider. People bitten by brown recluse spiders should ice the wound and seek emergency medical treatment, as brown recluse bites can cause rotting skin lesions and lead to severe reactions or even death in some people, especially children, according to Medline Plus, a service of the National Library of Medicine. But about 90% of brown recluse bites are not medically significant, and they heal very nicely even without medical intervention and treatment. Number 16. Six-Eyed Spider Hexophthalma is a genus of spiders in the family Sicariidae, the most dangerous spiders in the world. Although the genus was initially erected in 1878, then with the name Hexama, it was merged into the genus Sicarius in the 1890s. It remained unused until revived in 2017 when it was discovered that the African species then placed in Sicarius were distinct. The English name Six-Eyed Sand Spider is gotten from the species' outstanding characteristics. Species in the genus have necrotic venom and can potentially cause severe or even life-threatening wounds. Fortunately, this spider, like the recluse spider, is very shy. However, toxicology studies have shown that this spider's venom is the most venomous of any spider. However, toxicology studies have demonstrated that the venom is particularly potent and can break open red blood cells, causing the release of hemoglobin into the surrounding fluid. It can also lead to the accidental death of cells in living tissue, causing blood vessel leakage and tissue destruction. Unfortunately, unlike the dangerous neurotoxic spiders, the widow spiders, the funnel web spider, and the Brazilian wandering spiders, no antivenom currently exists for the bite of this spider, leading many to suspect that a bite by this spider is likely to produce a fatality. There are no confirmed bites in men and only two suspected ones. However, in one of these cases, the victim lost an arm to massive necrosis, and in the other, the victim died of massive hemorrhaging, similar to the effects of a rattlesnake bite. Number 15. Wolf Spiders as the name implies, wolf spiders are the members of the family Lycosidae from ancient Greek known as wolf. They are usually robust and agile hunters with excellent eyesight. They live in primarily solitude, hunt alone, and do not spin webs. Some are opportunistic hunters, pouncing upon prey as they find it or chasing it over short distances. Others wait for passing prey in or near the mouth of a burrow. Wolf spiders resemble nursery web spiders, but they carry their egg sacs by attaching them to their spinnerets. In contrast, the Piceridae carry their egg sacs with chelicerae and pedipalps. Two of the wolf spider's eight eyes are large and prominent, which distinguishes them from nursery web spiders, whose eyes are all of roughly the equal sizes. This can also help distinguish them from the similar looking grass spiders. <laughs> Wolf spiders inject venom if continually provoked. Symptoms of their bites include swelling, mild pain, and itching. In the past, necrotic bites have been attributed to some South American species, but further investigation has indicated that those problems that did occur were probably actually due to bites by members of the other genre. The Australian wolf spiders have also been associated with necrotic wounds, but careful study has likewise shown them not to produce such results. Number 14. Red Widow Spider 
The Red Widow is very uncommon and is a member of the Black Widow family. The Red Widow has a red-orange cephalothorax, its abdomen is black with yellow rings outlining the rows of red spots, and its legs are vermilion red. On its underside, it does not have the familiar hourglass marking. Instead, it usually has one or two small red marks. The females are almost double the size of the male. They have been reported to be venomous like the other Latrodectus members, though no bites by this spider are recorded in the medical literature. Unlike cosmopolitan species such as the black and brown widows, it seldom comes into contact with humans. Number 13. Yellow Sack Spider the yellow sack spider is also known as the black-footed spider, and it is one of a group of spiders in North America whose bites are generally considered to be medically significant. The yellow sack spider is very common in most of the United States and is the cause of a lot of spider bites and other unwanted encounters. They are usually light yellow to pale yellowish green, sometimes with an orange-brown stripe on top of the abdomen. The fused head and thorax of the yellow sack spider are orange-brown to reddish, and the abdomen is a pale yellow to light gray. An adult female sack spider's body is typically 1 4th to 3 8 inches long, and its leg span is up to an inch. The males are more slender with a slightly larger leg span. The first pair of legs is longer than the fourth. They generally have eight similarly sized dark eyes arranged in two horizontal rows. Their fangs can penetrate human skin quite easily. Most bites on humans occur when people are gardening or performing other kinds of outdoor activities. The venom has a mild and local toxic effect on cells and is poisonous to nerve tissue, as to the brain or spinal cord. Fortunately, no fatal incidents from encounters with the yellow sack spider have ever been recorded, but it has been noted that a large number of bites attributed to the brown recluse spider may actually be the result of yellow sack spider bites. Number 12. Brown Widow Spider The Latrodectus geometricus commonly known as the brown widow, is one of the widow spiders in the genus Latrodectus and is also a cousin to the more infamous black widow. The brown widow spider has black and white patterns on the sides of its abdomen as well as an orange-yellow colored hourglass shape. Their eggs are easily identified by points that project from all over the egg sacs. Brown widows are found all over the world but are believed to originate in South America. Their bites, though painful, are not considered to be dangerous. The bite of a brown widow spider is minor compared to that of a black widow. Although one frequently cited study demonstrates that drop per drop, brown widow spider venom is as toxic as other widow species. Venom toxicity is only one aspect when considering a spider's bite potential. The reason for the weaker effect of brown widow bites on humans is possible because the brown widow does not have or cannot inject as much venom as its larger relatives. The two significant symptoms of a brown widow bite were that the bite hurt when it was inflicted and it usually left a red mark. These two symptoms are not much different from the bite of normal household spiders. However, there is one recent report of a verified brown widow bite manifesting in more severe symptoms that required hospitalization of the bite victim. Number 11. Redback Spider Redback spiders belong to the family Theridae, which is found worldwide. The notorious black widow spider of the United States is a close relative of the redback spider and only differs in appearance by the absence of a red dorsal stripe. Other species of Latrodectus occur in Africa, New Zealand, the Pacific Islands, Europe, and North and South America. Female redback spiders are black but occasionally brownish with an obvious orange to red longitudinal stripe on the upper abdomen. The red stripe is sometimes broken and an hourglass-shaped red-orange spot on the underside of the abdomen. They also have a body about the size of a large pea and slender legs. The male's red markings are often less distinct. The body is light brown, with white markings on the upper side of the abdomen and a pale hourglass marking on the underside. More than 250 cases receive antivenom each year, with several milder envenomations going unreported. Only the female bite is dangerous because it can cause serious illness and have caused deaths. However, since redback spiders rarely leave their webs, humans are not likely to be bitten unless a body part such as a hand is put directly into the web. Common early symptoms are pain, which can become severe, sweating, always including local sweating at the bite site, muscular weakness, nausea, and vomiting. Antivenom is available and no deaths have occurred since its introduction. Number 10. The Tree-Dwelling Funnel Web Spider 
The northern tree-dwelling funnelweb spider is a medically significant megalomorph spider found in Queensland and South New Wales. It is also known as the northern rivers funnelweb spider or the northern funnelweb spider. They possess a glossy black carapace and a matte black or dark brown chalicery, legs, and abdomen. The dorsolateral surface of the abdomen may have a plum or purplish tinge. The hard upper shell of both sexes is longer and thinner than other members of the genus Hadronish. With a body length of 40 to 50 millimeters, it is the most prominent member of its family. The species is very similar to the ground-dwelling Darling Downs funnelweb spider. Male and female northern tree-dwelling funnelweb spiders rear up and display their fangs when confronted, drops of venom appearing on the ends of their fangs, and the venom of the species is potentially deadly to humans and regarded as the most toxic of those in the family Atrocidae placing it as one of the most dangerous spiders in the world. A high proportion of bites, 5 out of 8 recorded cases, from the northern tree-dwelling funnelweb spider result in severe symptoms of envenomation. The venom can be successfully treated with the antivenom for the related Sydney funnelweb spider. Number 9. The Noble False Widow the Stetoda nobilis is a spider in the genus Stetoda known in the United Kingdom as the Noble False Widow. It superficially resembles and is frequently mistaken for the dangerous Black Widow and other spiders in the genus Latrodectus. It is often referred to as the False Widow. However, False Widow is a more general term applied to a broader group of species with its resemblance. It is a medically significant spider, where in England it has a reputation as one of the few local spider species that are capable of inflicting a painful bite on humans. With most bites resulting in symptoms similar to a bee or wasp sting and some causing more significant harm partly due to pathogenic bacteria from the spiders, the noble false widow is spotted all year round both indoors and outdoors in a variety of habitats including cacti, roadside cuttings, and demolished buildings. These spiders prey on both invertebrates and small vertebrates using an attack wrap strategy where silk is wrapped around the victim. They present a unique risk because of their cyanthropic habits, especially in temperate regions that bring them in close to contact with humans. They are considered the most dangerous spiders in the world. It releases venom that causes the intense pain commonly reported, although male bites are less severe than those females. Number 8. The Tipo Spider The Katipo is an endangered species of spider native to New Zealand. The species is venomous to humans and capable of delivering a potentially dangerous bite. It is a small to medium-sized spider, with the female having a round black or brown pea-sized body. Red Katipo females found in the South Island and the lower half of the Northern Island are always black and their abdomen has a distinctive red stripe bordered by white. In black Katipo females found in the upper half of the North Island, the stripe is absent, pale, yellow, or replaced with cream-colored blotches. These two forms were previously thought to be separate species. A Katipo bite produces the toxic syndrome, with the symptoms being extreme pain and potentially hypertension, seizure, or coma. Bites are rare, and antivenom is available, and no deaths have been reported since 1901. The Katipo is particularly notable in New Zealand as the nation is almost entirely devoid of dangerous native wildlife. This unique status means the spider is well known, despite being rarely seen. Number 7. Camel Spiders Camel spiders became an internet sensation during the Iraq War of 2003 when rumors of their bloodthirsty nature began to circulate online. Many tales were accompanied by photos purporting to show spiders half the size of a human. The myth that it eats the insides of camels is what gave it its name, the camel spider. For many years, Middle Eastern rumors have painted camel spiders as large, venomous predators. as fast as a running human with a voracious appetite for large mammals. These creatures do not actually eat camels, stomachs, or sleeping soldiers, and they are not so large, but the real camel spider is still a fantastic predator. Camel spiders, also called wind scorpions and Egyptian giant solpugids, are only about 6 inches long. Photos that purport to show creatures six times that size often have a misleading perspective. The spider is invariably placed in the foreground, 
where the lens makes it appear much bigger than its actual size. True, they are fast, but only compared to other arachnids. Their top speed is estimated at 10 miles per hour. Camel spiders are not deadly to humans. Though their bite is painful, they are vicious predators that can visit death upon insects, rodents, lizards, and small birds. These hardly desert dwellers boast large, powerful jaws, which can be up to one-third of their body length. They use them to seize their victims and turn them to a pulp with a chopping or sawing motion. Number 6. Fringed Ornamental Spider the fringed ornamental or ornate tiger spider is a giant aboreal tarantula that is endemic to Sri Lanka. Their leg span sometimes reaches 10 inches, which is equivalent to 25 centimeters in females and is probably the second largest of the genus. The females, when viewed dorsally, possess a greenish yellow or purplish tinge on their carapace. The femur is a greenish tinge with a purplish tinge. Tibia has two parallel lines of oblong yellow spots. All legs possess reddish-brown setae, and setae are more prominent on their pedipalps and chelicerae. Ventrally, the first and second leg pairs are identical, with the ground color yellow. The femur is also yellow. Tibia is bright yellow colored. The third and fourth leg pairs are similar. The ground color is yellow. The femur is black with a centrally located large blue-gray spot, while the males, when viewed dorsally, have a greenish-brown color. Markings are less prominent. Ventrally, they are identical to the female. Yellow spots can be seen on third and fourth leg pairs. Although there has never been a recorded death from any tarantula bite, this species is considered to have a medically significant bite, with venom that may cause intense pain and extreme muscle cramping judging from the experience of keepers bitten by this species. Number 5. Mouse Spiders some mouse spiders have a toxic venom that is potentially as dangerous as that of the Sydney funnel web spider. However, few cases of severe envenomation have been reported. Unlike funnel web spiders, the mouse spiders believe to use less venom and possibly even dry bite. Mouse spiders vary from 10 millimeters to 35 millimeters in body length, and all have distinctively bulbous head and jaw regions. They are often confused with funnel web spiders. While mouse spider bites are not familiar, a few have caused severe effects in humans, with symptoms similar to funnel web spider envenomation. Fortunately, mouse spiders are not usually abundant in heavily populated urban areas. Although the males are often sighted, bites by red-headed mouse spiders are rare, probably because the spiders occur in less densely populated areas. Because of their potential toxicity to humans, first aid treatment should be provided as recommended for funnel web spider envenomation. Fortunately, funnel web spider antivenom has proven effective in cases of the mouse spider bite. Females are usually larger, stockier, more solid spiders than the males, with a uniform black fused head and thorax and body. Number 4. The Hobo Spider the hobo is a member of the family of spiders known colloquially as funnel web spiders, but not to be confused with the Australian funnel web spider. Individuals construct a funnel shaped structure of silk sheeting and lie in wait at the small end of the funnel for prey insects to blunder on their webs. Hobo spiders sometimes build their webs in or around human habitations. The hobo spider lays its eggs in September, and they hatch during late spring. Unfortunately, after the male hobo spider mates, it dies. Although the toxicity and aggression of the hobo spider have long been debated, there is little evidence that the hobo spider is a dangerously venomous species. Number 3. Goliath Bird Eater The Goliath Bird Eater belongs to the tarantula family, Therapocidae, found in northern South America. It is the largest spider in the world by mass, 175 grams, and body length, up to 13 centimeters. But it is second to the giant huntsman spider by leg span. It is also called the Goliath bird eating spider, derived from an early 18th century copper engraving by Maria Sibla Marian. It's the Goliath bird eating spider. That shows one eating a hummingbird. Despite the spider's name, it rarely preys on birds. These spiders can have a leg span of up to 12 inches, a body length of up to 5.1 inches, and weigh up to 175 grams. Bird eaters are one of the few tarantula species that lack tibial spurs, located on the first pair of legs of most adult males. They are mainly tan to light brown and golden hued. Goliath bird eaters make humming noises by rubbing setae on their legs and in response to threats. Also, when threatened, they rub their abdomen with their hind 
hind legs and release hairs that are a severe irritant to the skin and mucous membranes. These urticating hairs can be harmful to humans. Like all tarantulas, bird eater spiders have fangs large enough to break the skin of a human. They carry venom in their fangs and have been known to bite when threatened. But the venom is relatively harmless, and its effects are comparable to those of a wasp's sting. Tarantulas generally bite humans only in self-defense, and these bites do not always result in envenomation known as a dry bite. Number 2. The King Baboon Spider The King Baboon is a monotypic genius of East African tarantulas containing a single species, Helenobius muticus. It was first described by Ferdinand Anton Franz Karsch in 1885 and was found in Tanzania and Kenya. The King Baboon Spider is rusty brown to orange in color. They live in the shrublands and grasslands of East Africa, often using vegetation as a protective cover for their burrows. They are one of the few tarantulas that use stridulation as an effective defense mechanism in addition to rearing up and striking. They produce the stridulation sound effect by rubbing the femurs of their first and second pairs of legs. They are a slow-growing species but can reach a leg span of up to 7.9 inches. They are burrowing spiders with thick back legs used for digging. They generally hunt beetles, cockroaches, and other spiders, and they will put silk near the entrance to their burrow to detect vibrations of passing prey. They are popular among collectors, but they tend to be highly defensive, lack ultricating hairs, and are unsuitable for beginners. They have very strong venom, though none are known to be deadly to humans. A bite from a smaller spider will cause sharp pain and localized itchiness for five days. Adults can be kept in a converted aquarium if given plenty of ventilation and substrate at least 9.0 inches deep. Younger spiders can be kept in small containers such as pill tubs and waxworm tubs but will need deeper containers as they grow. Number 1. Cobalt Blue Tarantula The Cobalt Blue Tarantula is a tarantula species native to Myanmar and over the border into Thailand. The Cobalt Blue Tarantula is a medium-sized tarantula with a leg span of around 5 inches. It is noted for its iridescent blue legs which give it the name Cobalt. Males and females look the same until the final molt of the males. At this point, the male exhibits sexual dimorphism in the form of a light tan or bronze coloration. Additionally, males gain a palpable bulb on their pedipalps and on their mating hooks. The female eventually becomes larger than the male and lives years longer. The cobalt blue tarantula happens to spend nearly all of its time in the deep burrows of its own construction. While many tarantulas are armed with stinging hairs on their abdomens that they flick at their enemies, the cobalt blue tarantula does not possess this defense mechanism. Its only defense is its strong vertical fangs which can inflict a painful bite. The blue cobalt tarantula is one of the most aggressive tarantula species on earth. So aggressive, in fact, even young spiderlings have been known to fiercely attack, putting them on the list as one of the most dangerous spiders in the world. And that concludes today's video for the 20 most dangerous spiders in the world. Which one of them have you come across before? Let us know about it in the comment section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.